What? This is how they wait for you at the airport. Crazy. That's not me. It's not me. I'm trying to get my hair done. And this is how I get picked up to start, you know? So it's amazing. So the way I found hair of Istanbul is actually very simple. I went to Google and I typed in a hair transplant. I typed in the best hair transplant and for some reason hair of Istanbul came up. Now I was a little bit skeptic in the beginning because it was the first result. It was very highly advertised and I don't know if I, if I should like just go with them and not to research anything else, right? So what I did was I researched about three more companies to see the difference between hair of Istanbul and the other two that I found. After about a day, I made my decision. Right away, I seen the difference between hair of Istanbul and the other two companies. It was so, it was such a big difference. It was like night and day. It was like black and white. Hair of Istanbul was so professional. From my first question on the WhatsApp uh, mobile number to um to when I went to their website. Their website's amazing. Have you seen the website? It's got like a a special um, movie with a um, Greek Greek uh, mythological god almost. It's actually really cool, it's, it's amazing. So I checked the website, right? And the website was actually really cool. It was really high, high end, it was, very, um, it was very professional. It had like a nice video of, um, of a Greek god almost type of figure. And then the other websites were just basic, were just, you know, not up to my standard. And I like the best. When I, when I go and get anything done, I like to get the best. So I wanted the same thing for my hair. I wanted the best. I found Hair of Istanbul. I checked the reviews, checked the website. I checked Instagram. I seen that on Instagram that had like a million followers and the blue check mark. That was another plus because as you know, the blue check mark is everything these days, right? And, um, and then I just started talking to a guy on the WhatsApp and he was uh, telling me what I need to do. And, um, he was just basically getting to know me. I sent him a few videos of my hair at the moment and he seen kind of what I needed. He gave me a quote. He, uh, he, he told me that um, when I'm ready to just contact him and uh, pretty much four or five months later, I'm, I'm here, you know what I mean? And the price that he gave me on WhatsApp is still the same price, nothing changed. The guy was really professional and even when I got to Istanbul, when I landed in Turkey, I had a guy picking me up from the airport, um, showing me such such professionalism from the first moment to the end, you know? He was waiting for me with my name tag on a card. He put me inside the van, took me to the hotel. The hotel staff was amazing. Like, everything was amazing. Like, honestly, you guys, if you want to get your hair done, don't even think twice anymore. Just look at my review and look how happy I am and all the people that come here. They're always going to tell you the same thing, you know, and this is not even paid advertisement. Like I'm just doing it from the bottom of my heart because I know that hair of Istanbul is changing people's lives forever. Right. So now fast forward to the operation day, I got picked up, got taken to the, to the clinic and um, it was so, so easy going. Like they made me feel so comfortable. I pretty much, you know, um, had a little pre a pre meeting with a, a doctor. They drew my hairline, took some pictures, did my payment. I actually had to pick the menu. I had a breakfast and a lunch and you get to pick what you want to eat. And that's actually really cool, you know? Um, and then I just pretty much got ready. Went inside the room. Everybody was so friendly. They're waiting for me with open arms, put me on the, on the chair. I got ready and they went to work. For me, it wasn't that big of a deal because I only have 1500 grafts, but it doesn't matter how many grafts you have. It's still the process. You still have to get the local anesthesia. You still feel, feel a little bit of pain. It's not painful. 
it's just a little bit of discomfort. You get past it. And um, like I said, like I'm so happy. And I did my I did my operation about three to four hours. I had a person come in every half an hour to ask me how I'm feeling. It was like a translator, you know? He was making sure that I'm okay. And, I'm, and I, if I have any questions, uh, he would answer any questions. And he would also describe the process. Like he, he wouldn't ask, he wouldn't wait for me to ask questions. He would actually come and tell me what's going on and explain the process. So that way I don't feel the need to ask any questions, which is very important. Some people don't like to ask and they just, you know, t don't say nothing, but really everybody has questions. Everybody is, is um, timid. Some people are more than others, but everybody needs, needs, needs um, reassurance that everything's fine. So that's what Hair Vistable does. You know, they have a system from the day one, pick up in the, at the airport to the final day, it's a boom, 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 boom system. It's like, it's respected by all the employees and everybody. So I'm really happy. And honestly, guys, thank you so much. I would definitely recommend you to my friends, family, if anybody needs hair transplants, I'll recommend Hair Vistable. And uh, I can't wait to see how my hair will grow. And um, thank you for everything.